Hey guys, for today's game, I'm gonna be playing Darius on the top lane, and I'm actually gonna be going with a Hill of Blade setup with Darius with Ghost Flash. Um, playing against a Ryze top lane. <sighs> Dang. I actually thought it might be Yasuo, so I have armor rip. Anyways. Yeah, I took bone plating too, so I don't have a second wind. That kind of stinks. But I got the Doran shield for a little bit of healing at least. Um, gonna be going with an instant five stack setup, which is gonna be really useful. Uh, against rise because it's really important that I try to stack as fast as possible while I'm still in range to hit him Strength Just so I don't uh, uh, Let's see well, I, block, I actually blocked a good bit of damage with bumping there. Ooh, He knew I was there Wait did he ward that I didn't see what the heck never retreat Anyways, I'm gonna be shoving this in. Uh, let's see if I can't uh, get a pull. Bryce can do pretty well against Darius, but if I ever get an all-in on him, he beats me until he doesn't beat me. Let me put it that way. As soon as I get one good pull, one good combo on him, he just basically dies instantly. So wave's not in a good spot. I wasn't able to crash the wave all the way into turret. But if I can bait him into trading into me, I can get him to shove back into me. I have an Elise on my team. So anytime you got an Elise on your team, uh, it's all about early pressure. Trying to set up the early gank for the Elise so she can start popping off early. Because if Elise doesn't get anything going, especially against something like a Shaco, it could be pretty bad. This guy isn't even hitting me. This is great. I'm just free farming. Alright, I'm just going to shove this all the way in. We can actually dive. Uh, at least going for crab. I'm coming down. I can roam. Mm, I don't see where he's at. I was thinking maybe I could set up something, but... Oh well. If I, it would have been nice if I'd walked into the shake down. Make no mistake. All right, waves crashing in. So twenty five twenty. I think I missed a couple minutes of experience. An enemy has been slain. So, the thing I have to watch out for Ryze is, like, Ryze at any point can just blow up my wave. He has really good wave control overall, like the champion. That's one of his biggest strengths. So, right now, he's able to push for a level 5 right here and crush all the way in. Uh, I'm going to walk up and freeze this, though. I'm going to force him to stay, at least for a little bit. An enemy has been slain. I want to try to push for level 5. You should die. This is what Darius is all about, baby. Just getting that Hell Blades proc into the instant 5 stack for the all in. That's what I mean. Like, uh, the rice was beating my ass. I, I, I was getting dumpstered. But then I get that one pull into the all in with the Hill of Blades, and it's just so satisfying. Oh, wait. So, hold on. Um, got for all? You are slain. You guys see what you said to him at the beginning of the game? I said you're. He said he said you're actually the worst Darius I've ever seen. Well, now he's seen me. This guy. This guy was trying to get in my head like 27 seconds in. I mean, uh, yeah, but that guy just did a horrible TP in to kill. I I thought like the TP was actually so bad. I thought I was I was getting baited into a game, but no, he just uh, he messed up. 
You done messed up. Alright. So, I'm gonna go with a little bit of a spicy build. So, when we did our Darius video, where we did the, uh, the mathematical uh, Darius, we maxed W and built crit. But I was thinking, what if we went an item that gave a ton of move speed to stick on to somebody with the instant 5 stack? So we're just attacking with all that bonus AD right from the beginning. And then, uh, so we got a little bit of crit, but also got the 14% move speed and the ghosting effect. So if my ghost is on cooldown, I still have the ghosting effect so I don't get, you know, don't get messed up. Now I'm going to try it as a rush. And then I can build another move speed item on top of it. So let's say, like, um, Trinity Force could be pretty good. But also we could just run Stride for an extra slow. Stick on top of uh, people like the Ranks. I'll have to see. Because Trinity Force can actually add in a lot of bonus damage. You guys remember when Trinity Force is built alongside crit? I think that was years ago. I think it used to give crit chance years ago. So I remember it used to be in, like, every crit build. The item was so good. My destination is clear. I'm actually gonna see. Do a walk towards mid. Actually, I could just stay here. Maybe he'll walk up and check the bush. No? Come on, Rise, check it. I know he wants to walk down here and ward. He wants to see what's going on. I'm very threatening. An enemy has been slain. I've been playing a lot of World of Warcraft, so every time I say the word like threatening, I just think of the the freaking threat meter. <laughs> I play Warlock in uh, in the Burning Crusade Classic, and I um. I maybe unload a little bit too much too quickly, and so my tank's always mad. Let me, uh, let me just go and work here. See if we can see Shaco coming in. We dive. I want to kill this Rise more. I was trying to see if I got lucky and I got one of those bug hooks that has like twice the range it's supposed to. Which, it's not an actual bug, it's just, I don't know, the, the apprehend, the, um, like, the, like, I swear, it looks, like, the hitbox is longer than it looks, let me put it that way. An enemy has been slain. Mm, let me take this out. The bubble. Well, he missed a cocoon. Damn poo water jungler. Uh, I am on the way. This guy should just die. Right? Okay. What are you going to do about it? Wait, you're going to walk up here? You know, that might be a clone. Now that I think about it. Make no mistakes. Okay, my bumping's up. Don't I just turn this? I at least got Rift Herald too. So I'm still maxing E just for the uh, armor penetration second. Because that's just so nice. Especially if they build um, like an early, like when the mage goes to like an early Seekers or something. 
see, he's not TPing anywhere. Okay, we're in a good spot. So, I have enough for Famous right now, so I'm just gonna go and do it. And let's go, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Stridebreaker, just so I can stick a little bit better after I pull. It's gonna be pretty good. So, let's see, Stride, let's do this. So I'm pretty squishy with this setup, but man, am I gonna deal so much damage and the extra move speed I'm about to get is gonna give me so much um, more threat against the rise. Because if I build, start building towards like Dead Man's or something, I get a little bit of move speed from that. I think it's like 5%, but this is literally just 14% move speed. Just an absolutely absurd amount. Plus I get the crit. Wait, look how fast I am. I attack, now I zoom. Not to mention all the extra attack speed alongside Hail Blades. Look, <laughs> Look how much I can zone. So, I like the zooms. So I guess I could do something like, if, if I wanna do a build with something like Predator. Uh, the problem with Predator is like, you miss out on a lot of the early game stuff because your keystone's literally useless early. So this gives me the early game, and I could just build first item, something like this. It didn't even have to be a fan dancer. Or something with an absurd amount of move speed. Now I think this is a, a certainly an aggressive option. So when I get my Hearthbound Axe, it's gonna give me more move speed, another 20. And since it's flat move speed, it works with percent move speed pretty well. So that ghosting effect just got me the kill potentially. <laughs> instant five stack, instant kill, right after he BM'd me. I couldn't stand for it. So right there, you see how the ghosting effect allowed me to move through the minion so that I could actually get on to rise? I think that threw him off guard. And doing this against like a squishier like ranged target looking to kite you is super nice. Yeah, my team's popping off. I don't have ulti, so I can't one-shot him. So, actually, I'm back out. You know, he might throw a Q in this brush first to see if I'm there. Well, that's a good portion of his health gone. I think I held Blades back up. Got the move speed to get out. Look, it just feels so smooth when I build a little bit of extra attack speed, too. With some long PD. I'm gonna chill this in. Uh, I'm gonna back up. Oh, I was trying to joke it. Dang it. Maybe I could just kill them, I'm not sure. I had to have dodged his abilities. Uh, let's do this. Man, is he still trash talking me? Come on, man. Killing spree. Oh no. Oh wait, he didn't get him? Wait, this guy's got AD too. Is Kalista just bad? Okay, there we go. I was about to say, Kalista had like nine spears in him. I counted. Kalista is just no damage. That's a champion needs scaling. <coughs> Alright, let's see. Let's go back to top. Road close to stride. Gosh, I, I forgot how OP Darius Bleed is against jungle monsters. Like, it, 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 it's so crazy how Riot actually just buffs Darius in the most random ways. Like, trying to make him a jungler, but I play top lane and 
you know, my, my bleed does like 200% bonus damage to monsters. Like what? Or maybe it's 300%. I know it's like an absurd amount. Can I one shot him? I'm not gonna BM him in all chat, but I'll let you guys do in the comments. Just say, just say, good job, Bryce, in the comments. I'll let you do the BMing for me. I can't do it to him, man. He's already 06. Man, I'm just destroying her. Your team has destroyed okay, that Clista's gone six skills in a row. That's that's not good. All right. Um. Yeah, let's build some armor. Let's build a little bit of armor. Let's do this. And uh. Let's see if we can fight Infernal. I don't have Ghost. Shoot. If I had Ghost. I would 100% win a team fight. Like, even with me being a little bit squishy, I think I just need to, uh, I need to find a target on their team to just instant five stack, and then I can just blow up for the rest of the squad. I'm thinking this Yasuo is gonna be perfect. Where is he? Ah, he must have backed. Make no mistakes. Wait, no dragon's been taken? What? Alright, yeah. stay top. He's getting some farm. Good for him. I'm over here getting objectives. Or Shaco. That's on a pink. I could pull this, but I don't want to waste my pull health now. Oh, it's hard to get on a Callista. I was trying to use the, the move speed to try to like extend my five stack. But you know what? Maybe we just goes down towards bottom. I nice tried breaker. Come on, Talon, send up! No. <laughs> I do not tolerate cowardice. <laughs> Gas flash. I was back there. My town wasn't paying attention, unfortunate. If I get ulted there, I can get bursted. So I want to play a little bit safe. Oh, now he's going in. Oh, he just wanted to do it solo. I respect that. <laughs> right, good job. All right, you can go back. I'll take over from here. Okay. Let's see. I mean, Rise is useless. But he's getting some good farm. Like, I took two of his turrets down early. But that's the thing about taking those turrets is now he's got all that room to farm. So unless I'm just... Oh, come on, go. Flay him. Okay, well, that's fine. 
We got the cluster shut down. That's the biggest thing. Need 200 more for Dead Man's. I have not seen the Shaco. Shaco might have quit. Stay alert. Are his camps up? Yeah, his camps are up. Rice can't hold me 1v1. I don't think anyone can. Like, especially if I have my ultimate. Calista can do some pretty good cutting, but if I flash on her while she has no flash, uh, she just kind of dies. Or if I get a little bit of move speed increase from a uh, killing unit. Oh, it's just dealing physical damage. Oh, so that works on my bleed too, right? Oh, Man, Phage used to be so broken with Darius. The fact that it gave the 40 move speed if you kill the unit. Especially when you, you timed it perfectly with your Q so that your Q leaves them at 1 HP so the bleed gives it the tick after. Oh, I maybe could have ulted the Rise too, and maybe killed him as well. You want? I get to kill the Rise. I'm gonna say gold reset. I'm gonna say worth. Okay. Let's go into Sterks. It's gonna give us a lot of bonus damage, 50 attack damage, and it's gonna give us health, so a little bit more tanky. Uh, so we actually took a lot of magic damage from the Malkine Rise. So the flat health will help against that. I already have armor to deal with the Oswo, who dealt the, you know, dealt the majority of damage. Yeah. <coughs> okay, let's do Dragon. I will not rest. Oh, there's Shaco. Yeah, it looks like he DC'd for a bit, but he's back. I don't think they have the damage to do Baron. Oh, nice. <laughs> that Callista got bounced around. Wait, what was that? The knockup was weird. See if we can find Shaco. Rip. I saw that he had went over from the uh, from the Oracle lens, so I knew he had gone over the wall. Man, look how fast my character is! I'm running around at 477 move speed, and then when I attack, I'm pretty sure I gain another 7% too. Kill the Yasuo. Yasuo has a red buff. Oh man, he's got two items. He's actually pretty strong. Um, I mean, I can chase him if he runs this way. Oh, he's gonna do the thing! Oh, what a god. Alright, I got Sterks. I'm taking this Grump. Actually, I'm just gonna reset. 
My wave, if I go Gromp first, my wave will reset. Or crash all the way in. Actually, just screw that wave. I think I'll go mid. I think we can actually do Baron. An ally has been slain. The only thing we have to watch out for is the Shaco. Shaco is level 10. Man, I remember when levels on junglers used to matter. I was about to say, like, he's only level 10, so his smite isn't going to be that much. But yeah, smite's not 100 no matter what level, level you are. It's just getting the five smites down. They don't have a ward on this, so I shouldn't appreciate Oh, no. <laughs> that was so scary, they pink warded it when I was at 900 HP. If that was a Shaco's ward... Oh, wait. I'm not playing Trinomir. I just put a point in W and stop my ult. No! Uh, we can force dragon. I'm gonna set up a split with uh, the lead I have. Beat everybody. Our team is like really trash at team fighting. Just like based off the composition. Now we're so ahead that we could probably force it anyways, but I don't think. I think we just 1 3 1. And if Talon can't beat Yasuo, that's okay. He could just. You know, sit there and be under turret. I will not rest. Your turret has been right, destroyed. That's yes, it's painful. I apologize. An ally has been slain. Was I rooted? Oh, was it, I couldn't ulti because I was rooted? That's so stupid. So if you didn't know, um, Darius's ultimate counts as a dash. Um, if you're careful, like, yeah. So you, they could be slightly out of your auto attack range, your ulti will go. But if they're at that range, it counts as a dash for your ultimate. I mean, there's a couple of abilities that do this, but the most annoying one is playing Darius and having that happen to you. It's so annoying. Let's see. Yeah, you know what? 889 magic damage. I think that's good enough to go ahead and grab this. Plus, the healing application would be pretty good. I could also go... No, no, this is best. Because I'm going to be able to get bigger shields with my Sterics, too. That's best for sure. Um, we get free dragon. Please do the dragon. Here. All right. Oh, I didn't have five sacks on rise. All right, I think that's a game winner. So, made the call to go catch out the Callista. I think my uh, Elise is actually about to die. And end up in the dub. Your team has destroyed an Alright. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to this video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.